We will now discuss sorting arrays. Topics include how do you sort an array by value? How do you sort an array by key? How do you sort an array by value but in reverse? And how do you sort a multi dimensional array? Moving now to our first code example, we use the sort or the a sort command to sort the values within an array. On lines 6, 7, and 8, we assign values to three different arrays a numeric array, an associative array, and a numeric array which has file names as values. On line 9, 10, and 11, we perform a sort on these three arrays. On lines 14 through 16, we display the results. Moving over to the browser, let's have a look at our first example. So as you can see, the numeric array has the values 11, 22, 44, 88, and 99, which is now in order. The associative array, the values are in order, apples, bananas, grapes, etc. However, you'll notice that the keys were destroyed. The files array is sorted, but you'll notice that the order is not proper. File 1, file 10, file 2, file 20. In order to address these problems, let's move back to the code example. We're going to reassign the two arrays which did not come out properly. So the associative array is assigned values again. The files array is assigned values again. On line 23, we introduce the a sort function. The difference between sort and a sort is that a sort will maintain the association between the keys and the values, whereas the sort function will reset the keys into a numeric array. On line 26, we use the sort function with the array files. However, we introduce a flag. The flag is sort natural. The product then will be what is called a natural sort. So let's now have a look at the result. Going back, refreshing the page. As you can see, using a sort, the result is again the elements in order apples, bananas, grapes, etc. However, the keys have been retained. The last line shows the result of a natural sort. So as you can see, we now have file 1, file 2, file 10, file 20, again in an order that is natural to us as human beings. But what if you want to sort by key rather than by value? Let's have a look at the next example. In order to sort by key, we use the function k sort. The letter k, of course, stands for keys. On line 6, we have an associative array with the keys representing meat, dairy, grain, and fruit. On line 7, we then execute a k sort. Let's then look at the results. Moving back to the browser, as you can see, the keys are now in order. So dairy, fruit, grain, and meat. Thus, the array is organized by key, in this case, rather than value. So you would use sort or a sort for values. You would use k sort for keys. The next question then is, how do you sort in reverse? The answer is, you could use r sort or a r sort. Again, the difference between the two, r sort is similar to sort, but it sorts in reverse order. a r sort is similar to sort, but it does it in reverse and it maintains the association between the keys. You'll also notice on lines 9, 10, and 11, the introduction of some additional flags. Sort numeric is used if you are confident that the information or the element values are numeric in nature. You would use sort string if you are confident that the elements represent string values. And you would use sort natural if you wish to return a natural looking result. As usual, on lines 14 through 16, we display the results. Let's move now to example number three. So as you can see, our numeric array is now in reverse order, 99, 88, 44, 22, 11. Our associative array where we have retained the key value relationship, oranges, grapes, bananas, apples. And finally, the natural sort in reverse order, file 20, file 10, file 2, file 1. The remaining question is, how do you sort a multi-dimensional array? The answer is, you would use the function array multi-sort. Array multi-sort has all of the sort flags that we've discussed so far, including sort numeric, sort string, sort natural, etc. 
it introduces two more, sort DESC for descending and sort ASC for ascending. If you look through the documentation, you'll notice that there's no function for reverse multisort. Accordingly, we use array multisort with the sort DESC flag to reverse sort. The arguments for array multisort are the array itself that you wish to perform the sort and one or more flags. Notice on line 7, we have a 3 by 3 matrix with the elements in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, represented as three subarrays. Let's now look at the result. Looking at the fourth example, as you can see, we now have elements 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. However, this might not be exactly what the desired result is because you'll notice that essentially what happened is it took the three subarrays and reversed the order of the three subarrays. But what if we want to get inside the subarrays as well? The answer is we can specify multiple arrays on the command line for array multisort. Moving back to the code, we could simply specify something along these lines. We first sort the outer array as on line 8. We then can sort the inner arrays by specifying the elements in order. So we start with 0. We follow that with 1 and 2. So now 2, element 1. Let's get rid of the comment, save the file, and move back to the browser. Refresh the screen. As you can see, now not only are the outer elements in order, but the inner elements have been aligned as well. So now we have 9876543321. In review, how do you sort an array by value? You would use sort or a sort, where a sort retains the relationship between key and value. How do you sort an array by key? You would use the k sort function. How do you sort an array by value but in reverse? You would use R sort or AR sort. How do you sort a multidimensional array? You would use array underscore multisort. This concludes our discussion of sorting arrays.